sorry. We're both, I thought I'm loud enough. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Ali Najjar. And I'm Amani Ali. And we're both from the interior design department of the college. Um, just in general, we're going to speak in both English and Arabic. Everyone can interact with us. I'm not going to ear the end of it. Okay. Um, so we're going to be speaking about nostalgia and design and what is nostalgia and how that influences our everyday life. Um, so, uh, there's an interesting connection between our presentation and uh, Dr. Ismail's presentation, and it's about how um, it's about nostalgia. Nostalgia is about um, thinking of the past and taking things from the past. But it's about history, but how we can take history and actually implement it in today's world. أو كنا عشناها أو لا if we lived in it or not وشون نربطها من ناحية الديزاين فهاو we're relating both of them together المسلمين عادة يعني معروفين إن أهما they they really stick to their culture ف يعني they really care about their culture ف they don't like other um, other influences from the West but we noticed recently that you know, there's a lot of influence coming from the West, especially in design. And we're going to talk about design in the in the accessories, in the product design, in the in interiors, not only in the interiors. So, we know that the Muslims are masking their culture. They don't like influences from the West. But we noticed that in recent days, there's a lot of influence that came in from the West. Um, حتى نلاحظ المطاعم وكل شيء became standardized في كل البلدان because of globalization. Um, بس recently we noticed كنا الناس قاعدين يرجعون للماضي. ف they're going back to the past looking for the good old days لأن they started feeling إن كنا their identity is lost ولا um, تمحت their their own identity. ف they're trying to look back into it. ف this is what we are going to discuss today. Um, for the first example we have are how um, in design we're starting off with cartoons and animation. So one of the most common sources of nostalgia is um, derived from cartoons or animation that we've seen over the years. Um, they all influence people somehow because you grow up watching them over and over again. But even when you see the cartoons and the animation, they use them as people. They don't just use them as people, they don't just use them as people, but they use them as people. And politically, in the political sense, we see the same example in a cartoon, and it's used politically somehow on streets, on places, to kind of send a message. The whole point of it is how, because we grew up watching it, it reminds us, it reminds us of a message that we've lived, um, we've lived up to. All the cartoons have a purpose or a goal from the cartoons that we've seen. So that's the first form of nostalgia. So this is another example. For example, local artists in the GCC, we see a lot of this. We have a lot of in the Khalij, not just in Bahrain. They try to connect between the idea of nostalgia and what we're doing and to connect them to their products. And that's kind of the easiest thing that people can end up buying. I mean, I saw a t-shirt for 20 dinars, but on a cartoon, I liked it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to take it. But it's one of those things because it reminds me of a past that I lived in. So like, from um, the economy, it also works. So we have Dhuq, for example, in Kuwait. Sara Al Araf in um, Emirat, which drew the Mujallat um, Majid on a t shirt, can make to Tahta Ayartni Bishayb, Fair Botun Al Amur with more recent things. And then we have Day and Age, which is a Bahraini brand that does for Captain Majid, for example. So they try to relate it to the millennial age right now. Another example is fashion designers are, um, they're trying to utilize nostalgia and, and reviving old stories or old accessories and so on. But we can see, for example, both Jalabiyat, they're done by FFM uh, design, Fatma Al Mullah, who's an Emirati designer. And she, instead of, a lot of girls are moving away from that right now, and they're more into the whole fairy tale wedding that we see in the West or from like, from out of, of, of our cultures. So the idea behind this is to kind of try to incorporate it in a more modern way so that it, in, it, it blends both generations. 
فيعني عندنا اللي اكبر منا يعني ايام امهاتنا وابواتنا واحنا في الجيل قاعد يصير رابط بينهم من ناحيه النوستالجيا في طريقه الديزاين. This is another one. Um, on the left side there is Fionka, she's a Saudi designer. وكل اغراضها كلها على همبرجر وعبايات فتربطها بال, بال with the Saudi um, market. And then on the other side it's a t-shirt by Kuwaiti designer وحاطين صوره شريهان which I'm assuming everyone knows من التسعينات وفوازير شريهان فشلون هالطريقه يسوقون كل هالامور. عندي هالتيشيرت في البيت. Um, نفس الشيء في البرودكت ديزاين في uh, تصميم الاثاث الفرنتشر ديزاين. Um, there is a very, very uh, famous example of how to successfully reinvent um, nostalgic things and reinvent them in a way with added benefits. The benefits of them are more than the original chair. So we have the classic Baroque chair, which is the red chair. The chair is the red chair. Philip Stark, a famous chair, took this classic chair, which is the chair of the chair. The modern consumer might have been naive high shape if you beat him and they have seen a whole shape I deem especially Shabab and best had high shale I deem or power up the Rika and the so up materials of a do what's more connect mojo to be a last or Lisa will be high accuracy for how the shake the hard gila accuracy or how well a little shame من ماتيريال من ماتيريال جديد وبسط بعد شكل الكرسي الخارجي لان it becomes something more simplified ف the chair became with added benefits instead of the classic chair now this chair for example يتناسب مع a lot of different schemes مو نفس ال ال chair الأصلي يعني فرضا هاي يحكمنا بلون الأحمر ولا بالزخرفة اللي فيه بس this one suits a lot of different schemes the transparent one um, so we'll notice that in the examples, we have the same chair, but the original chair is not the same chair. We can use it in a lot of different ways. The original chair is not stackable, so we can use the chairs above each other. Now it became stackable, so it's not just in the beauty, but even in the restaurant. When they want to clean, they can just clean the chairs on each other and be in a different position. But the chair became with added benefits instead of the original chair. Um, I'd never had uh, going on further into product design. Fi Masamimin Bahrainiin, Nafs Amin Al Abbasi, Haraka, they work on uh, bringing nostalgic feels la alexiswarat wal ashia illi yisnaunha. So you'll notice um, Amin Al Abbasi, Fanana, she's an artist and she paints. Traditional things in modern means. Um, for she paints, for example, Hailin, uh, Benot Baraga or whatever it is. But Sarat Tatbaham Al Exiswarat, Fi Ayam, Yan Ayam Al Kadima, Makan Adnaha Al Ashia. For she bridged Bain Al Ashia Al Kadima, Utawarat Ha Tarika, and Nasana Nistak Nigdar Nistakdimha, um, Utnasab Maha Al Jil Jadid Mubas, Al Jil Al Kadim Al League, Dari Tisal Bahai Shisar. Something that we can actually use in modern day. Next is she Haraka. Haraka is also a Bahraini brand. Had the interior design of them, يعني مخذين الفكرة من كنا دكان قديم like an old cold store. But when they display the items, they display them in a way that looks like an old cold store. عشان they bring in the modern consumer and the old consumer. عشان they can bridge the gap. Next is she في البيوت. في عندنا اعتقاد ساعات او المودرن دي البحرينيين عندهم اعتقاد او الخليجيين او وات ايفر ات از عندهم اعتقاد ان لما يبون يسوون ديزاين تراديشنال ياخذونه حرفيا ياخذون نقطه نقطه الاشياء الحرفيه بس في طرق ثانيه ان نقدر نستخدم فيها التراديشن بدون ما ان وي كوبي ات وورد باي وورد اكزاكتلي هاو ات از فو وي كان تيك تراديشن اند اكشلي ري انفنت ات تو بيكم سمثينج ا لوت مور مودرن اند هاوسينج but I'll talk about an example. For example, in olden days, um, when you first enter a house, there's a courtyard. There's an open courtyard. It's open to the air. So you don't, as soon as you enter the house, you enter into an enclosed space. It's usually an open air with skylight area. Um, so this is what we call al-hosh um, or al um, And for example, instead of taking harfiyan الأشياء والتفاصيل البسيطة نقدر أن we look back and we look at the bigger picture. We can take influences from things that are much more meaningful than the little things that we usually focus on when we talk about tradition. 
Um, so for example, we can make a modern house, نفس هاي الاكزامبل, modern house وفيه um, حوش في الوسط أو فيه courtyard في الوسط, just like the olden idea, but reinvented to suit the modern consumer. Um, a few other examples as well. There is the houses in the Al Qasari in Muharraq. We have the um, the Pearl Road, which is an area in Muharraq which has been there since the 1920s. Recently, um, this is a project that um, that has been recently in the past month and um, renovated. So, what they did is these houses were all across um, around the sea. So, كان محرق أيام البحر كان يعني صوب البحر عندهم كلها البيوت القديمة. What they did now صاروا جراجات لمدة طويلة لسنين يعني they've turned into garages. What they did now was they reinvented it, refixed the space while still maintaining all the authentic walls. So they have all the walls, they have all the bricks. The beams, for كل دنشة وكل هالأشياء موجودين كلهم نفس ما هم ما غير فيهم ولا شيء. What they did instead is they incorporated new spaces or they incorporated new elements to revitalize the old space. فحاولوا يجددون مكان بدون ما يغيرون هوية المحل. خاصة إن هالمحل معظم الناس اللي بيستخدمونهم في أجيال بين الأعمار خمسة عشر لي مثلاً خمسة وعشرين. فيعني يحاولون يعني they remind the, the the younger generation of where they originally came from. But we can see here. نظر للجدار نفس ما هو ويا ويا الدريشة القديمة بس instead of that حتى وجامة كاملة عودة مثلاً. فthey reinvented the space by maintaining old materials along with the new ones. and then we can see the same thing with the furniture where they have within the old furniture and the new one and they how it all cohesively works together within the space. Um, and then another example we have moving on um, from houses to more other sources of interior are restaurants and coffee shops, which we've seen a lot of these days. So Lumi is one example which we've seen multiple times. And what they did is they maintained a whole idea of this Bahraini street style food, as well as like in the interior space, we see all these carpets, we see all these like wall furnitures and Moroccan tiles. So they kind of tried to reflect the whole idea of how the old old day souks were, but in, in um, through a, through a design of a restaurant. بيض طماط ومثلا بلاليط كل هالاشياء مع انه يعني انه جدتي تزفني في البيت تقول لي ليش تروح بس انه ات ليست اتس ستيل سمثينغ ذات اتس اتراكتينغ ذا يونجر جينيريشن نفس الشيء في الريستورانت كولد بصا نلاحظ انه بيبل ار يوزينغ يسوقون الاشياء للاولدر جينيريشن والنيو جينيريشن يعني بوث جينيريشنز يحسون انه لهم علاقه في هاي المكان بدل ما يسوونه تراديشنلي كله تقليدي من البداية للنهاية يستخدمون أشياء تقليدية some traditional elements بس they reinvent them in a modern way فبتلاحظون أن بسطة for example في عبارات وأشياء um, تقليدية بس مكتوبة بطريقة um, modern على الجدران فإتس نوت يعني الابليكيشن صار it's modern but the idea and the elements are actually traditional Thank you very much. We hope you enjoyed the trip down memory lane and it's open for any questions.